Good morning, boys and girls, and ladies and gentlemen. I am Alpha Zero Forum for you, for you all today, and I am going to do a review on One Piece Chapter Seven Forty Seven. Now, before I get into this review, like um, last last week's chapter started off with the list of who's given, who's given who, and who's gotten the stars. You know, and pretty much the Riku family has gotten the stars, and <laughs> including the Straw Hat Pirates, and. The most one is pretty much Usopp, if you all remember, and that was like, holy shit, you know, like, we didn't expect him to be, like, um, really high in this game, you know, and so forth. Later, it ended where, um, Law warns Luffy that they're gonna, like, fight a pissed off Yonku if they kill Doflamingo, and Luffy's on its way to, like, go after Doflamingo for this kind of thing, you know, and right now, it's like, yeah. Let's just get this chapter started. Okay, at the beginning, we end up seeing we end up seeing like a lot of chaos around, and the marine one of the marines I think that entered the tournament actually know what the hell was going on all this time. He actually knew the whole entire truth, and right now he says like if we could take down Do Do Flamingo, then it's over. Then that's it because right now like um he pretty much caused way too much chaos and havoc upon this upon the citizens and the island right now and later he ends up talking to Admiral Fujitora or Isho or Admiral Isho and they he ends up say he ends up saying like hey we need to take down Doflamingo can't you help these people out then Fujitora ends up saying like um the way I look at this island right now it's like a bunch of chaos it's not a bunch of cries or anything it's a bunch of madness and anger and he and Isho son asked a very good question right here like he said does the world government think that they're gods or something and I, I I'm just thinking my mind right now I said I think they are because I'm just thinking my mind and saying this to you guys in my own opinion and theory they think they are gods right now because honestly it's like um pretty damn crazy and bullshit of what the hell they're trying to do like deciding what the what's going on and they're the reason why like a lot of act a lot of these kinds of actions are allowed because they don't see it and they don't realize it another thing another thing is like the ten rubito too you know they think they have the right to do whatever the hell they want you know it, it's just another reason why like um used this kid like why the world is so fucked up these why the world's so fucked up in one piece because like um the ten ruby is like part of the reason why you know and later as we get on to the chapter we end up seeing the doflamingo family and the moment i looked at someone in the middle i thought that was jesus burgess right there you know i'm like what the hell he's part of the don quixote family but i guess not i guess i was stupid to even think like that but the first time i took a look at it i go is that jesus burgess or something and so forth and we see all these almost all the Don Quixote family right there and Doflamingo asked um and Doflamingo asked like um Riku is Riku or the Don Quixote family is worthy of being the king of Dressrosa tell me you know and and one of the guys were like was like about to laugh was about to laugh at laugh at the Don Quixote family for that kind of question you know I believe and and Pika which is like Doflamingo's like highest assistant I believe or I don't know you know like ends up being hella pissed and about like I'm gonna bury your fucking ass into stone you know the way how he said it or how he would say it since he's heckin mad and his voice changed they say like I'm not so sure how, what his voice is but if they're laughing at it then it might it might be squeaky or I don't know you, I don't know and Buffalo Fire blasted them and warns Pika you should be careful what the hell you do, otherwise there won't be any family for us to grieve over, and Pika apologized, and Doflamingo gave us more about his past, which is very good, because he lost his mother at the age of 8, and he killed his own dad at the age of 10. I don't know what the reason is for killing killing your own, his own dad at the age of 10, but that's pretty interesting right there, like, we don't know what's going on, but he said, like, um, the one I created right now, you guys are my family no matter what, like, and anyone who dares laugh at me or about it or laughs at my family, I'm gonna slaughter your f fucking ass or something, you know? And yeah, pretty much it's like that. It's like that. He says he just says straight up like that. He goes like he goes into like that. And later we end up seeing more of the more chaos again. And Luffy ends up 
going into like a freaking pothole trip pot pothole trap you know and right now there's like um treble there's like um that big old fat guy and then that other guy that tries to kill like bellamy you know and some other strange another fat dude whatsoever you know and luffy ends up entering like a surrounded trap you know like he just jumped in there without thinking well that's him you know and Later, like, they all try to kill him, but it doesn't work out. Zoro managed to stop the guy who tries to kill Bellamy. Like, um, he tripped him, and he kicked the, he kicked the big fat guy. He's up, uh, it was kind of funny. He's like, holy shit, you're fat. And the guy says, holy shit, that fucking hurts, you know? And the citizens end up trying to kill, like, um, Luffy and Zoro and the others right now. Like, and Law says, the moment I get out of these cuffs, I'm gonna wring your bloody neck, you hear me? <laughs> I go like, I was just thinking in my mind, just le just forget all that crap and just leave it, you know, and right now, at what makes things worse right now, like, someone says, you all better stop your firing and let me take care of this. We see Admiral Fu Fujitora right there, and I go like, oh shit, this is not looking good, and Zoro ends up facing, facing off against them right there. Then, we end up seeing giant stone, we end up seeing Pika into a fucking giant stone giant stone guy like more than 40 feet or higher that I can say and Luffy's all like laughing hella hard saying ah ha ha your fucking voice is so hilarious and Pika's target is just like who the hell laughs at me I'm going after you you know and that's about it I go the moment I looked at this chapter I mean damn I mean pretty chaotic still you know it's still chaotic right here like Nothing more than what's going on, nothing more of what the hell was going on, but we get a little more glimpse of what Doflamingo did to his own did to his own biological family. Like, he lost his mother at the age of eight and he killed his father at the age of ten. Now I don't know why he killed his father at the age of ten. That is one thing that we hope to all find out and get answers for right there. And speaking of answers, like um Speaking of questions and answers, where can the other Straw Hats be? Are they okay? Are they on their way here? Are they like um, captured by Big Mac, Big Mam, you know? And what? Where's Caesar and so forth? And yeah, everything seems to be clear. And of course, we saw Frankie in this chapter going out to the Smiley Factory, I believe. And right now, the Riku family and Kiros is like, what's going to happen now? You know, like um. Zoro is going to face off against Fujitora. How the hell is that going to go? How is that going to work out? Like, is he going to win? Or I had, or will it be a draw? Or some kind of crazy event going to come in and then stop the fight, you know? And honestly, like, um, I was hoping to, like, um, see maybe Fujitora, Fujitora do something about this, you know? Like, I can understand capturing a straw hat is your priority, but at least, like, um, care for the citizens. You say, like, um, shouldn't the innocent... In innocent civilians be our first priority, you know, and that's what he said in the let's see here 40 or 50 chapters ago or more, but yeah So I thought this chapter was all right, you know, I mean nothing crazy happening, but we get to see a more glimpse of like of Doflamingo's like um family a bit and his like um rage whoever like laughs at them, you know, and yeah so there are still some questions I want. I still need. I still need answers. You know, there are there are many questions that we all need answers for. So I thought this chapter was alright. I'll give it maybe a three point um three point nine out of five. You know, I mean nothing crazy or epic happening, but some more glimpse of the past and at the end crazy epic cliffhanger. Like what the hell is going to happen? You know, like um so forth and right now like um we all hope like um we see a chapter like um coming out maybe next week or after next week you know because i hear like um there's some things happening to the author like um he takes a break after like um putting up one chapter one week and then the next week and then takes a break after that but i don't know that's this is what i'm hearing all over the internet you know um <laughs> yeah so this chapter is okay hopefully more answers will come i am alpha zero forum hope you all have a good day like um Enjoy it. Later.